Nathan. But I'm all great. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Seller Ladies Live. Um, I, I don't know. Bit of a different chat today. We're going to do a show us your tat. Oh, wow. So we've got four items each. And uh, one is going to be vintage. Well, more than one can be vintage, if you like. And one that cost a pound or less. And join me this afternoon. We have lovely Lex, Bad Biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me, Lex? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she's pretending she's going. She's delayed. Did you know what I can hear you? you it's all going a bit funny. Oh. <laughs> it's like one of those satellite links. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what? Half past four. <laughs> I'm going to come and come back, I think. Okay. okay. Do that. <laughs> uh, we have Andrea from Nick and Andrea Hills. And we have Heather, the treasure pirate. So good afternoon, everybody. And I'm not here. I'm not here. I said you before. Oh. I said you flipping after Lex. I said flipping fantastic finds Kelly. Oh, well, hello, everybody. I am here. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear it either. Maybe, maybe we've got the delay. <laughs> this is off to a good start, isn't it? Sorry, Kari. <laughs> I've got good internet, so I know it's not me. <laughs> oh, I'm up here now. I'm upstairs. I've been promoted. <laughs> can you hear us? Hello, am I okay? Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, we can hear you. Is that better? Yes. So who okay. would like to go first? Just about hear you guys. Oh dear. Who would like to go first with their first item? Raise your hands. Have we got to do them in any particular order, Karen? Because you haven't said. Oh, um, we'll start off with the two normal items first, shall we? Normal? Well, you know, not not a pound and not vintage. Oh. Okay, vintage. I'll do something while we're all thinking about it. Okay, I'll do something I found. I have a vintage thing ready to go. So yeah, it cost me three pounds, and I haven't seen one of these in a long time. And here he comes. Hey. Oh <laughs> They're still out there, folks. <laughs> Brilliant fish. Does he work? Well, he's got a nice clean battery compartment. I, I only got him yesterday when I was out with my sister, so I haven't had the chance to test. But this was from a very expensive charity shop, and this was sat up on a shelf, clearly not not valued in quite the same way. So there he is. He's actually Billy. There's there's a trout one that goes for a lot more money. I think about sixty quid. But even he, he even he can get over thirty pounds. Wow. I, obviously, he's got to be working, and I will test him. Um, but he's lovely and clean. He's not because sometimes they're a bit grubby, aren't they? When you find them, at the oh. but it's been a long time since I've seen him, so I was quite, I was quite pleased. And I, I almost had to look him up to think, are, are they still worth anything, or has that moment passed? But apparently they are. So lovely fish. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, we've had one of those before. <laughs> and did you say you only paid a pound? Never. Ever. Three, three. Three pounds. Well, that's still good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah worth yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Who would like to go next? Um, I can if you like. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll show I'll show this one off. Oh, okay. Well, Are you going, Lex? Is that okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Ooh. Well, I'm wearing this. I don't know if you could see it. If I'm all like, there we go. Oh, oh hello, yeah. it's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and um i suppose i normally give you guys a hand with stuff but i don't know who made this and it's got a tag on it and i've got no idea who this tag belongs to so if i can maybe show it somehow it looks like the wonder woman sign or maybe a heart with wings yeah i don't know if you can see that or an insect yeah. with six legs or an insect <laughs> or a mountain range upside down. I don't know. I don't know who this is. But I've it's never cool. seen. It's got oh. like a little goofy pattern on it and lots of lovely stones. It's not vintage. It is a, a modern make. I just don't know who it is. It's so you don't think it's 80s or 90s? No, it's definitely not. No. 
Do we have any jewelry people in the chat yet? I don't know. Anyone can help? No. I was gonna say I've never no, really seen it. I've never seen that. No. Maybe try Maybe um, te Texas Girl Treasures Facebook group. They're quite good on um bits and bobs like that. Mm. That's very it true. Be, it might be an American brand or something we we've not oh. used to, possibly. But yeah. I still don't remember seeing it. Yeah. It's very it's cool. cool. I like it as well. Can't get it back on that. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I would say it's almost a kind of Egyptian e it has got Greek key yeah. on it, so who is right? But it's just very it's like it's such a mishmash of styles. Hmm. Like when I first saw it, I thought it was a bit like 1950s because of the beads on it, and then with the Greek key, and then with this tag, it's very confusing. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know what to do with it, but I like it. So I like it, it's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Here we are. But no one can help me. It's fine. No, really, guys. No <laughs> She's up. <laughs> Someone might be able to help later and put it in the comments, though. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Please comment down below. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Andrea, do you want to show what you've got? Yeah, I can do. Um, I'll start with something that a friend gave me. She just um, she arrived the other day and then just gave me a bag and it had two things in it. Um, and one was this blouse and another was a bag, which um, I can't resell really because unfortunately it's damaged. But she said um, somebody had given it to her. She can't use it. So would I you know, be able to make use of it and resell it if I wanted to? So I've only really just looked at it today. <laughs> I have to say, it's just been sat in the corner. All I've right. never heard of the brand RM Williams. Oh. Um, but oh. I realised it's a silk shirt and it was £150. Wow. Brand new. I think new. it's Australian, oh. isn't it? RM Williams. Um, it's what, yeah. sorry? I think it's Australian, RM Williams. I'm sure I've sold ordinary shirts of theirs before. Yeah, I, think I, just, I think it just said on your tag, Andrea, Oz, A-U-S. Oh, did it? I think so, yeah. Did it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then um, the actual price is in pounds. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, pure silk. So uh, uh, that was nice. So <laughs> thank you Lovely. to my friend. <laughs> yeah, I don't cool. know what I'll get for it, but, you know, a decent amount, I should think. So what will you do with that, Andrea? Will you put it up as a buy it now price or will you auction it? Yeah, I'll probably put it as buy it now. I'm not overly keen on auctions. I try them every now and then, but I'm not keen on them. <laughs> <laughs> we love auctions, don't we, Kelly? Yes. Yeah, I probably really should just give them a go and really try them and I'll change my mind. But, you know, I'm stuck in my ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, Kelly, what, what thing have you got? And I'm I'm prepared for something, at least one of your things to be something wow, because you always pick up good stuff. No, don't go. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> And then she's smiling. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I've managed to at least catch her in a bit where she's really smiling, which is nice, <laughs> rather than just going, ooh, you know? Well, if she comes back, I will show what I got today. This is from the most expensive charity shop you've ever seen in your life. Well, I think so, anyway. And for, not very good for me. It's the closest one to me. So um, I think it's an old or old hospice. These didn't have a price on. All their shoes were overpriced. And these are a nice sort of tweed kind of design. They're hush puppies. And they were $4.99, which is the highest I'll go for a pair of shoes. But they are in really nice condition. So um, I thought, yeah, I'll go for them. I mean, I haven't checked. But I normally sell my hush puppies for around the £20 mark. So cool. it should be all right. Now, but is that is that a Prince of Wales check? I would say yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say yes. Yeah. Mm, might be. So I will put that. Um, 
and I would say they kind of look retro, don't they? Yeah, there's a kid that in the cool words. Yeah, they yeah. look really sort of retro 90s, don't they? Yeah. So, um, but the HPO Flex, which is, I think it's like a sort of comfortable sole. So we shall see. Oh, there's Kelly. Have you moved to your iPad? I have moved to the iPad. I don't know if it's going to be any better. It just keeps disconnecting for some reason. All oh, right. Can you turn your camera around or do you have to have it around that way? Is that better? No. Oh, yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Hang on, then. Hang on. Hang on. Bear with. <laughs> yeah, everyone swapped positions. I know we can move around. Sort of around Robin, curious. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so we're really excited to see what you've got, Kelly. Because <laughs> you broke. Uh, well, I think anyone who watches my Mondays knows that I'm struggling for stock at the minute. So I have picked two bits up from the charity shop. And my first item is... Wow. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That's fab. That is wow. amazing. You haven't put disappointed on. on the fabulous. No. <laughs> put it on. Put it on. And it don't fit no. otherwise I would like. Oh. Oh. Uh, the first thing I thought about when I saw it is that I'd do Andrea for her quiz night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, that was a fine How one. old do you think it is, Kelly? Eight, probably 80s, early yeah. 90s, something like that. It's great. <laughs> it's, awesome. but it's, it's fully sequined and it is silk and there's hardly any beads missing. Oh, nice. which is Which is fantastic. <laughs> a great drag but outfit. Is it made in India? Uh, let me have a look. I don't think it says. No, it doesn't say. No, it doesn't say that's where it's made. How much did you pay, it's Kelly? Very, um, it's very kind I'm of Frank Usher as well. Yeah. yeah. How much did you pay, Kelly? I paid a fiver. And I'm going to ask about 40 and sit on it because surprisingly these some sometimes these go for very little money mm. when you think about all the work that's gone into them they don't fetch mm -hmm. a great deal but then there's two ends of the scale some go which, which seems like for nothing and others go for silly money like 80 mm -hmm. 90 quid mm. so, i think the colors in it are very peacock like so i think that's really going to appeal that's a gorgeous pattern though yeah, yeah. It's the, it depends on the pattern and the color obviously the brighter and more leery it is the better yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, that's a great first item. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Follow that, people. <laughs> <laughs> so, Heather, have you got something vintage to show? Yeah. Um, I have, yes. And this is a puzzle to me. So much like Lex, it's something that I've been, I've very, had for a while. Very, 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 it's just a little jar. Oh. Um, it's very small, but it's kind of textured. Where where these little animals are, there's a goose there. Mm -hmm. There's a little yellow bird there, and it's a uh, kingfisher, I think. There, that's kingfisher, mm -hmm. a sort of blue tit kind of bird, and it's just so pretty. And it's obviously hand painted and quite old. It's not. It does look old. It does look old. It was the age, and this is the little lid. I mean, it's got flea bites and things, and the possibility of that developing into a crack. But I just thought it was so pretty that mm. I wanted it. And I cannot find, because I don't really know where to start. There's nothing on the base. There's no markings. Mm, yeah. But there is a signature, which was here. Um, yeah, so is that Chinese or Japanese? <laughs> well, <laughs> I have no idea. So well, I don't Ah, oh, right. Could be Japanese. I have a feeling it's Japanese, not Chinese. I don't know why. Yeah. I just feel it might be. But it's just so cute. I mean, it's only about three and a bit inches tall. It's got crazy all over it. But I do love it. And it and it literally cost me, I think it was about £1.50. But I've had this for about two years and not known what right. to do with it. So this is a kind of plea for help. 
as, do I just keep it and go, yeah, it's worth nothing, but it's gorgeous, or is it something somebody really wants? I mean, it's minging inside. It's absolutely. What found. I was going to say was, how accurate are the birds? Because I remember watching something on on Antiques Roadshow and saying that, that they used to paint birds yeah. that British people knew, but they used books to paint the birds because they didn't know what birds looked like. These are British birds. I mean, there's yeah. no doubt a kingfisher little sparrowy green finch type things but it they're actually quite well done that's the thing they're mm. not just got the paint on it does look and they're the texture is there's a raised texture as well is it pottery or porcelain um it's it's pottery i would say because it's a bit thicker it's not thin delicate see-through sort of stuff um but they've actually used a paint it, I thought they were textured, but the paint itself seems to be creating the texture. So it's almost like an enamely paint. Really had me confused and delighted. And can, we have a, can we have a look at the pattern round the rip that round the lid? Yes. Yes. You don't want it to focus on me. You want to focus on this. Eternal bow. Yes, Eternal bow. bow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. And it's like this on, on the top. Oh, so similar, yeah. Mm. So you can, you can tell that me and Nick are on the same wavelength because you said it's minging inside. And immediately I was like, oh, it's Ming. And Nick said, it's Ming inside. Oh, a Ming vase. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't know. But there's just something about it, I think. You know, sometimes you just get the feels for something. That is something nice. But beyond that, my expertise runs out. So there we go. Something to Chinese, learn about. Chinese pottery and studio pottery are probably too hardest to identify if you're a, a novice. Yeah, I'm just better at the studio. Start with it. I'm yeah. not too bad at the studio, but I do struggle when with, with things like that. Yeah. If you can see the chat, Heather, Steve Green's trying to be helpful in a funny <laughs> way. Oh, bless him, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, the great wisdom that is Steve. What if he's right, though? What if, like, he keeps doing this, but one of them is actually going to be right? Yeah. You mean like monkeys on a typewriter producing? No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, God, who, did, who did I go to next? Uh, Andrea, do you want to show your vintage item? Andy? Um, it's something that I've already showed in a hall ages ago because we picked up a jumble, jumble trail. But I'm showing it again because I'm going to list it soon. Um, it's a vintage um, leather jacket. So that's the label on it. Powerhouse. Oh. And then it's just a sort of classic style leather biker jacket. Yeah. And yeah, I just thought I'd show it again because it's quite interesting. But I still don't know what I'm going to list it for because I haven't looked it up. <laughs> But I paid five pounds on that. How old do you reckon it is? 70s, 80s? Um, yeah, it's got to be 80s at the most because it's made in England. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to... I would say kind of non-collars are much more 80s, whereas they had a proper collar and there's a lot of the 70s stuff. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, at first glance, I would have said 80s, just judging by the, the design on the label, really. Mm. Yeah. You gonna model uh, it, bro? Uh, what it look? It look? Is it quite small, or would you say you could model it, Andrea? Oh, I can't model it. I can't stand up really. I'm I'm hemmed in. But um, <laughs> well, Aww. it says size sixteen, but there's probably more a uh, fourteen or a twelve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. So yeah. I'll show my bit then. I'll yeah. Think. I'll take the one pound sticker off. Right. <laughs> um, but mine's a crown. Doesn't it suit me? <laughs> I could see your cat in that. <laughs> oh, as me. <laughs> right, no, definitely not. Um, but yeah, so it's a crown, but it's a little money box there. Oh, oh. money box. And this, um, it says on the bottom, in England, it's got a patent number uh, to remove prize off a round edge. It's basically a money box that you just can't get into. Mm. Uh, but this was made for the 
1937 coronation of Colin Firth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, Queen's dad. So King George VI, the, the stuttering yeah. one. The yeah. one that was married to Hel Helena Bonham Carter in the film, not <laughs> Helena Bonham Carter in the crown. In the crown. <laughs> so so it was it was made for a coronation that never was. No, oh, no, no, no. His one did happen. He was the one that right. took over from Guy Pierce. Oh right. <laughs> Guy <laughs> Pierce mentioned him, but he, he ran off with an American floozy and then Colin Firth, his brother, became king. True yeah. story. <laughs> um, I just thought that was kind of cool because um because I know I'm not meant to talk about politics on these kind of shows, as someone commented on one of my videos of Salad Ladies the other day, of like, we should leave politics out of things like this. Um, but tough, because I quite like politics. Um, and even though I'm a proper liberal lefty, and so therefore should be kind of anti-establishment, I actually quite like the royal family. Um, mm. And I think that okay although i don't like the fact that they inherit just lots of things and lots of wealth and all of that and you know they get given lots of money i think they do a, a lot of cool things for our country i love the fact that we've got a royal family and all of this history and i like that all of the other anti-establishment stuff that comes with it like the sex pistols doing god save the queen and the vivian westwood look and stuff like that yeah. so i like royal shiz <laughs> I, I completely agree with you Lex I think our royal family are fab especially the Queen and I think she works incredibly hard she does yeah. she's in her 90s and she's still off doing things you know yeah well exactly and I do love the mangled histories part one we need part two next week <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised there's nobody in the chat putting prices normally when i show things somebody in the chat always puts how much they think i'm going to get for it so i'm quite um, surprised nobody in the chat has actually done that yet i forgot to say hello to the chat hello chat um i like your money box lex any idea yeah, what yeah. It's worth? Um, Sorry, ice cream, cream man. Cream, <laughs> cream. It comes right outside my back gate. I'll have a nice wine with a flake, please. <laughs> I'll have a was, you know how we've had like terrible flooding in Wales and stuff? Not here, we're okay here. But um, someone posted on Facebook the other day that like, like somewhere near Ponty, the, you know, the streets are flooded and they're all there mopping up and everything and they've got the, the sandbags out and then an ice cream van comes past. Like, <laughs> like now? It's like, yeah, we'll still, we'll still have an ice cream, we'll still have a Mr Whippy. That's yeah. the world for you. Well, I'm in freezing outside. I don't know what. It's because it's half term. <laughs> yeah. When it comes around. That's it. But yeah, so, I reckon 10 to 15 on my little yeah. crown. Really? Yeah, I thought it might be a bit more than that. Yeah, I did. Mean, there's a lot of them. I think they were very mass produced. There's oh. quite a lot of them. But I think I just think it's cool. It yeah. yeah. So Kelly, you started strong. What have you got for your second item? My second item is another charity shop buy and I paid paid up for it for me. I paid seven pounds for it. Are you ready? Right. Get your, get your sunglasses on. Yeah. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. That, you need to get that out quick. Ski season's nearly done, isn't it? Yeah, Shelly could have done with this, couldn't she? Yeah. Uh, vintage yeah. ski jacket. She did look better than that. And it's in cracking condition. I don't. It doesn't look like it's ever been worn. All the cuffs That's are good. spotless. So what do you think you'll ask that? I've just sold a, a ski suit for 50 quid. A vintage one. The suit? I've, well, I've got it on for 40 with offers, so we'll see where it goes. But like you've just mentioned, it is really coming to the end of the uh, ski jacket weather, hopefully. <laughs> It's yeah. very it's good. However, um, 
stag do's and things. Yes. Yeah. Like a lot of a lot of people going on stag do's and stuff will wear, you know, eighties things and uh, yeah. might go for that as well. So, you know, another market there. Yeah, I put fancy dressing like in quite in mine. Hey, um, sorry, so what, sorry, sorry, then. what, Lex? Sorry, are you <laughs> doing just call me again? Just call sorry. me names. <laughs> Settle down, dear. Just call me. Behave, children. Behave. <laughs> right, so it's, I had a bit of a with, with what I thought was vintage. I, I picked something up that I thought was vintage, but it's not. So I thought I'd show you something I bought for my kitchen. When I've done my kitchen about a year and a half ago, and I picked this up for 50p, and it's a vintage salt pig, and it is by um, Aviemore Pottery, Scotland. It's worth about a tenner, so not bad for 50p. But I, I keep my um, Malvern sea salt in there, so that I use it in my kitchen. But I just thought, you know, it's quite cute, and I know it's definitely vintage, so. Well, I hope it is. Um, there's the mark on the bottom. Yeah. Cool. That's really nice. That, yeah. That looks just the right size to keep a tiny bunny or a hamster in it. Well, Darren moans about it that he can't get his hand in because I've got really little hands, so I can get my hand in okay. But he's like, I can't get any salt out of there. He has to like tip it up. So. <laughs> It's quite small. <laughs> it's meant to be a spoon that goes in it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Heather, what's your next item? Um, right, uh, right. Next item is is a classic bit of clothing that we all know and love. Oh yeah. It's oh. a long pleated skirt in a check, and it's a good brand one. It's wool and it's a viella. Ah, oh, yes, I like that. Well, but it would fit a probably a modern size eight. But it's one of those things that I, you know, it's it's that sort of country tweedy, mad langol sort of look. So yeah. I do grab these when I can. I won't ever pay for them, but they're always they're going to be in for quite a while. So, so is that Prince of Wales check as well? No, oh, I don't think so. That's a very specific sort of check, but it's it's a kind of country. What makes check. mine Prince of Wales check then? Is it the lighter? I think because you've got wide Just... gaps between, like a window pane check, it's got the... Yes. Yeah, and you've got the wider checks and then the finer checks yeah. in between. Whereas this well. is all like, it's a different sort of thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of brownie, sludge, sludgy brown in colour. There's my keyword. <laughs> Lovely brown. And it will be a midi, which obviously is the length du jour. Obviously, yeah. if it's going to be on me, it's going to be a maxi on anyone else. But there you go. And it is wool. So uh, nice quality ones of these. I, You know, there's some I'll leave behind because they just don't feel nice and they haven't got the, the weight or the quality to them. But I think they're sort of going to stay popular for quite a long time. I don't think that kind of look is going anywhere at the moment. Well, the, the retail price of Viella stuff is very high, isn't it? So... You know. It is, yeah. That is vintage, though, because it says it's a 12, and there ain't no way that would get round my waist. That's probably mm -hmm. a size 8. So I'm thinking that's probably 80s stroke 90s, that one. Yeah. But there's always, you know, certain country women that have worn this through decades, <laughs> so they're always making them, you know. Yeah, uh, talking of the Queen. <laughs> well, yes, with the headscarf under the chin, yeah. a barber jacket, that sort of thing, yeah. a pair of gun boots. Yeah, that's, that's your look. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Andrea, what's your next if item? I, if I'm at, Sorry, if Kelly. I'm looking, if I'm looking a bit gormless, it's because you keep breaking up. Oh. Right. So I'm not oh. I'm not getting everything that you're saying. So I'm like, oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> Can you hear us, Lex, or are we still breaking up for you? You're all breaking up. Yeah, you're all breaking up for me, but you know, oh. crack on. Oh, I hope people in the chat can see, all right? Is yeah. it you? okay? Is it my turn? Is it Andrea's turn? Andrea's turn. <laughs> right, so I'm just going to show something that's very on trend at the moment and is very festival. It's a khaki 
shacket, shall we say, because it could be a shirt or a jacket. Yeah. Um, feels really thick. It's Zara, so it's modern. Just Ooh. got some embellishment on the back. Mm, that's good. Mm. And I'm probably going to list that for about 20. Yeah. It's on, but yeah. So, you know, for festival season, that's that's the perfect type of thing to pick up because, yeah, it can be worn as a jacket as well as just as a shirt open. Your uh, shacket keyword then reminded me of um, Nick's made up keyword that he made up the other day. What was it? <laughs> Can't remember. Curtain. Curtain. Oh, a skirtin, yeah. <laughs> Is this a skirtin? Yeah, that is an actual word though, shack it, you know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if it's very widely used, that's the weird thing, oh. but yeah, it makes sense. It's probably because we watch Lorraine, so um, you know, Mark Hayes, is it? Yeah, it's <laughs> not about shack it. Yeah, no. yeah, you see, I never watch Lorraine, so I haven't, I haven't a clue. Yeah, I always have one in the background while I'm doing stuff in the morning. <laughs> I will have to point to everybody. Point to Lex. I can't do it. Lex, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, another jewelry item. So look at this little dude. Oh, oh isn't he cool? <laughs> Is he spelling something? I don't know. He's got little hearts for eyes. Oh. And I don't know what I'm going to do in, but he is solid silver. Wow. See, he's got a sterling mark on his back, and then he's got what I think might be um, what's called Zuni, which is yeah. uh, like Southwestern Native American, um, like it's a tribe, tribe, yeah, like Navajo. Oh. Like Zuni yeah. is, is mm. kind of like that. So I have literally just before we came in, um, found a website, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, where they identify Native American sterling silver symbols. So mm. I'm gonna see if I can find that. But I just love him. I think he is so yeah. cool. He looks like a little robot almost. He looks like an E in <laughs> and an N. Like, like yeah, like E A. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't think it's yeah, meant to be. Yeah, I, I just love him. I think he's so cute. That's cool. My little That's awesome. And was he in a job lot? Yeah. Nice. Yes, he was, yeah. He was, Um, I literally opened the box and just went, yoink, hello. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't even have to say, you're coming home with me, because he was already home. <laughs> Um, it's a manta ray bug. Looks like he's spelling. Oh. Oh, hey, Craig. You carry on taking those drugs there. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. Right, Kelly, I hope you so, don't go because it's your turn now. <laughs> oh, this, is my, this is my one, one pound out and I brought it today. Right. And I'm, and I'm blaming Shelley Hawkins for this one. Okay. Okay, so it's a first edition. <laughs> Harry Potter. Oh, wrong page. <gasps> Let me find it where it says it. Yep, piece eight. Can you see? No, you need to oh. move it. Hang on and let me get me signed. Is right. it signed? No. Anyway, it's first yeah. edition and it is worthless. <laughs> oh. it's the Phoenix. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the first two that thing. you need. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is how we learn, isn't it? You know, you've got to try these things. It's not worth <laughs> Nice nails, though. Oh, thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, so that's, yeah. That's, from watching, that's from watching other YouTubers picking up stuff. Yeah, yeah it gets into trouble, doesn't it? But yeah, it is the first two that you you need to look out for. The yeah. others uh, were they, so mass-produced. Yeah, I'm not into Harry Potter. Yeah. 
um, but I just spotted it. I saw that it was the first edition. I thought, oh, I'll take a gamble on that for a quid. Mm -hmm. And it don't pay off all the time, does it? So, no. I shall show you my fail. I should have realised because, as I said, this charity shop that I went in this morning, I think they check everything on eBay. But I saw the make of it grow. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I thought, oh, you know, that's all right for a quid. And it's it's working. It's, it's in a little case. Hang on. If I can get it open. But you, I can't now. Can't get it open. Oh, there you go. So it's like a little, um, I look, I've i looked on eBay at it and you put that against the baby's head or you can put it near their pillow and it's got um, uh, the sound of a heartbeat, the sound of rain or the sound of waves and it is actually, it's actually working. Hmm. I don't know if you, you hear that? It's just very quiet because it's not to scare the baby. <laughs> baby thinks it's drowning. Yeah. <laughs> anyway so i've only paid a pound for it i've looked i've looked at sold prices and i'm going to be lucky if i get a fiver for it so just because because i know a lot of people sell the grow eggs don't they yeah and it's it's like new i don't think it's ever been used it's lovely and clean and that but it's just it's just not worth it and i should have realized because they probably checked it on ebay anyway yeah. So that's my fail item but i mean i'll get my money back but i'm not going to make huge profit so you've got to try these things you have you have <laughs> uh so i think we're on to our last item already aren't we yeah yeah so heather what's your um well, I um, it's really thanks to Lex. I I found another piece of Joan Mithers today oh. for a pound. So it's also my pound. I think. It's a bracelet with glass beads all over it, like a charm bracelet sort of sort of arrangement. Yeah. And you know, I mean, it's seven o'clock in the morning. Believe me, my eyes are not that good. And I looked at the tag and I sort of looked at it again. And I thought, I think that says Joan Rivers, but I'm not sure. And when I got home, my eyes were good enough to tell me that it was. You so, think, well, do you have to see the tag or not? Do you think it's too small? Well, I'll try, but I'm not sure I can. Oh, it's really small, isn't it? It is tiny, maybe. Let's see. Does <laughs> this is. <laughs> uh, and no, I don't think. Is it like a J and an R, or does it actually say? <laughs> yeah, Joan? It, says, it does actually say Joan Rivers right. on it. So, but yeah, you know, but uh, I because I found a piece the other day in that box of stuff that I've got. Oh, that was a necklace, wasn't it, Lex? And you said, "Oh, Joan Rivers is actually quite good." So when this turned up, I was like, "Oh, okay, I'll I'll take that for a pound." <laughs> I think this, I think I'll get about fifteen for it, maybe or maybe less, but we'll start off high and then come down. But it's actually you might get cool. more than that, Heather. Yeah, I mean, it's just not my style of thing. It's not me at all. But, you know, someone, someone will love that, I think. Mm. They're quite well made, her pieces. They are well constructed. So yeah. I think they were quite high priced on QVC. Was it QVC she used to sell on? I think yeah. they were quite high priced. Well, I've looked, obviously, even looked into it. And some of the pieces do go for quite a lot of money. But it, yeah. obviously, there's certain pieces that do better than others. Um, but yeah, and it, her jewellery is quite often very overstated and very colourful and well larger than life, as she was herself. But that's quite a modest little piece, so yeah. good for the summer, I think. So I shall have fun selling that. Yeah, good for a pound. She yeah. An Easter egg series. They sell really well. The Easter eggs, Ooh. little pendants that go on necklaces. All right. Right. I haven't seen any of it. <laughs> Andrew, what's your last item? Okay, my last item is my pound item. Again, something I've shown before, um, something I bought when we went to Reading last year. But I thought I'd show it again because it's fun. <laughs> and it was the um, Disneyland Paris oh, Mickey, Mouse, cool. the Mickey Mouse Bowl with the Disneyland Paris on the bottom. So, oh, I like that. Yeah, I was I was finding it hard pushed to find something I bought for a pound, and then I came across that and I thought, oh yeah, yeah, I haven't listed it yet. <laughs> it's in a bag. Still got a load of stuff from Wales I haven't listed yet as well. I'm surprised that's not made its way into your cupboard, Andrea. Well, it's tempting, but um, I'm being good. I'm going to list it. 
So at least it's made its way from the spare room into my office now. So. <laughs> I, I found a um, Disneyland bag today um, and it was an apple. So I think it's Snow White, isn't it? The apple. Um, they wanted five quid for it. Oh, no. And I was just like... No. <laughs> see what I mean about that shop it's, it's just annoying that that shop that's on my doorstep is just so overpriced it's really really annoying you're gonna have to go further afield <laughs> I do I do mm. yeah I bought a like really that? nice Disney bag the other day and it was new with its tag but they wanted three pound fifty for it and it was all it's just a canvas bag and yeah. it had Beauty and the Beast on it and mm. it wasn't official I might have had it if it was official but. yeah yeah yeah, I think that people see Disney and they think, oh, yes, can get lots of money for that. But yeah. Not always. No, not okay. no. No. So what's your last item, Lex? Um, well, my last item is, is something that I bought <laughs> uh, from the car boot on Sunday. And it was oh. a pound. Yeah. And it's in the frame right now. Can you guess what it is? Yeah, I know what it is. Oh. <laughs> it has absolutely no resale value whatsoever. Oh, <laughs> what is it? Flowers. Yes, it's my oh, children. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they were a pound from the car boot. Someone had obviously like, because it was after Valentine's Day, so I'm guessing they were either just flogging off flowers really cheap in the supermarkets, or maybe even just chucked them in the bin, and someone's been. Dumpster diving, dumpster dove, dumpster dived. I don't know. What's <laughs> dumpster <that>? dived. <laughs> yeah, dumpster dove, and um, I just like grabbed bunches of them, and so I got them for a pound, which is amazing. Yeah, I love new. I love flowers, and considering that you know that Sunday, and they're still like they're just, yeah. just doing, they're just on the turn. <laughs> If you can cut the ends off, you might get a few more days out of them. If you cut a little a couple of centimeters off the end of each one, you've already, yeah, done, already that. done that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> give, give them some gin. That'll perk them up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't waste them on flour. So tell you what's your last item. Well, I was struggling for my last item, and then I thought, well, I'll show you this, because I picked this up today. Ah, is, I know what that is. The rice in your potatoes, isn't it? Yeah. No, it's the testicles. Oh. <laughs> testicles yeah, it works for testicles as well. Rice in your testicles. <laughs> well, the, reason I thought, the reason I thought I'd show you that is because um, whenever I see anything that I might like, I mean, I could have, could have ordered one of those offline. I always see if I can buy it second and first, even from the car boot, charity shop. And yeah. there you go. I've, picked, I've managed to pick one up. So, so Barry's oh. in for a treat. That could have been mine because I had one and I got rid of it because I never used it. <laughs> Although I don't know how I would have got to Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> She's fell asleep. <laughs> It's, like, it's either narcolepsy or a bad internet connection. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> I, I've got an excellent potato masher, and his name's Darren. He's a really good um, masher. <laughs> it's nice useful for something, isn't it? <laughs> well, he's been quite useful for quite a few things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Darren. Oh, oh. It just sounds like my skiv, doesn't he? The way I talk about him, it just sounds like everything he does is my skiv. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you have well trained, Karen. <laughs> oh well, he doesn't think so. Oh. oh he he should come over here and see what Nick does, and then um then he'll go blimey. <laughs> I know. I, I I do take him for granted. I really should um appreciate him more. Oh, Ken is back. Hello. Okay. <laughs> Oh, what a, what a time to freeze. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Best expression. So my last item, something I picked up today, 
and I think it's hang on I'll put me on uh, solo because I think it's got a really pretty pattern it cost me a pound um it is St Oswald Hospice the the shop near me so I really like the pattern inside and I, I thought it was vintage but it's not it's not vintage sadly oh. Yeah, I love it. Likes it. Don't you, Andrea? I do, I love that. Yeah. So I thought, you know, it was a sauce pot, but you think it's more likely a pin dish? Well, it's just, it really looks like a like a copy of a Hornsey pin dish. I think, as you said, it, the sides are a bit deeper. But Yeah. But yeah, just a, a trinket dish or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That would be nicer than a sauce pot, wouldn't it, really? Yeah. Hmm. Or as they've, you know, I've seen loads of listings where they put call them catchalls, where you can just it's just basically stick anything in it. Yeah. <laughs> I need to write that down, catchall. Yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot more for making stuff that looks re retro because that's the fashion at the moment. So you're going to see mm -hmm. a lot more things that are trying to be. But yeah. it's, uh, you think why do they need to? There's enough of the retro stuff about for people to just have. But yeah. if you can write in Sainsbury's or somewhere, I guess that saves the bother, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But then you see there were a lot of um, copies and retro stuff, sort of retro 70s in the 90s. So it could easily have been something that yeah. you know, came out in the 90s. So it could be still vintage. You don't know. Mm -hmm. Just not, mm. a, you know, genuine mid-century. We forget now that it's not, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what you like that? Comment, don't, don't blink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Rachel B said, or an ashtray, but it doesn't. No. no yeah, it doesn't have anything to rest, rest your cigarette. Yeah, you want to have lip, a lip on it, don't you? At least one lip or two or three. And you don't want to ruin such a beautiful thing, really. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's an ashtray made in the caves of Spain, made from lava and twigs. The locals call it ashtray. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I, don't, I don't know what Steve's on today. I think he's had some, uh, it must be something to do with the kids being off, sending him a bit crazy. Yeah. Like his mental, I think. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah that was quick wasn't it i should have said five items oh, oh well, Rachel said, oh sorry too nice for an ashtray yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if it was like for sauces they wouldn't have bothered patterning the base of it would they because yeah. it looks like something you have in like a mes Mexican restaurant with some yeah, olives. olives or your little bits and bobs in on the table for olives, olives. Yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, I I didn't really want to pay a pound for it because I'm really tight. But there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have paid a pound for it definitely. Yeah. I think oh, well, froze I think now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah Heather, you did freeze again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go out and come back in. I feel like I've missed off this chat tonight today, so I'm gonna have to watch it back and just see, yeah. see some of the faces I've been be, pulling. It'll be all of us just going <laughs> all the way through. I hope <laughs> not. I hope not. Oh, there you go. Louisa said, is it a tapas dish? Could be, hmm. yeah. So I don't know what to list it as, really. I don't even know how much to charge for it, or should I just keep it for myself? Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. I can't see it be worth. I can't see it being worth a lot, Corinne. And for the time it takes you to research it and that sort of thing, you might as well keep it for yourself. Yeah. Have I gone again? No, no. you're there. No. You're still there. Oh. No. I think we'll probably just put it on. Put it on uh, my shelf, my cookbook shelf. That's where everything goes. My knickknacks. <laughs> oh, it's like musical chairs today. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Bollywood dancing. <laughs> Heather, Heather, are you there, Heather? Oh no. <laughs> Lex? Oh, Lex, you were just pretending to. I was panicking. <laughs> this is brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? 
Jesus. <laughs> you look really annoyed, Heather. I'm sorry. She does, doesn't she? She looks really Oh, she's giving me the eye look. <laughs> oh, she's going so well. <laughs> really, Sorry, really Martin. not my fault. <laughs> I've got really good internet, and it's and it's hard lined, as Darren would say, hard lined. <laughs> Louise says, "I reckon Heather will win the staring contest." <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're back, Heather. Oh, you, no. kind of. Ish. Am I frozen? Ish. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You're robotic. Oh dear. <laughs> can, I, can I give um, Nick and Edward a quick plug, please? Yes. Um, they're on Edward's channel at three o'clock. So if you fancy listening to them talk about vintage toys, that's what they're doing today over on Antiques Arena. And I've, I've got to dash off in about five minutes and give him the microphone, otherwise <laughs> you won't be able to hear him. <laughs> Oh, look at Heather. Oh. Um, can, I, can I plug my next video that I'm going to record this afternoon? Yeah. I'm, I'm going to, I'm, at some point I'll perfect these like videos that I'm doing, like the where I'm listing jewellery. So how I'm going to try it in this one is that I have all the stuff in front of me, but I've, I'm not listing it as I do it. I'm just going to talk about it as like, I show them. So I think that might be a bit better rather than doing all of the typing at this point. Right. Okay. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, I really enjoyed the last one. I watched it while I was listing the necklaces, so <laughs> felt like oh, I had a bit of company. <laughs> well, good, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> well, my next video, probably on here, will be another food collaboration. Oh. With um Caroline, Carla and Kirsten. All the C's in the case. So um that's coming out at the beginning of March. So that'll probably be my next video on here. So I'm I don't know if I'm allowed to say what the topic is, so I won't say just okay. in case. But um I'm going to buy the stuff tomorrow and then I've got a plan. I don't know what I'm cooking yet because it depends on price. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go out tomorrow and see what there is at a good price um and create some meals out of it so i'm gonna try lobster. and do a vegetarian one as well lobster do lobster <laughs> lobster <laughs> there's no lobster in uh in uh what's it called little iceland little <laughs> i'm going <laughs> to no it won't be liver i cannot cook liver eat liver touch liver no ew no. We do get awful in this house for Monty, but I do have nothing to do with it. Ew. <laughs> awful. It sounds awful, doesn't it? Yeah. Awful. I've got, like, my childhood years, my mum, one of her favourite meals was liver and chips, so we used to have it quite often on a Saturday. Yeah. And I used to have bacon instead. But, I mean, yeah, the house... Mom my mum used to give me liver and chips and it was just the worst thing. I think mm. possibly that was one of those moments where I was like, I, don't, yeah. I really don't like this. I think I'm going to be veggie. I don't know if anyone else gets like this who eats meat, but every so often I just go off me and I, I hardly eat any at all. No, you don't. Well, you, <laughs> you can't really, Lex. You wouldn't have much to eat, would you? No, right. There'd be nothing left. No. <laughs> just kale. <laughs> Kale and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much all I eat, really. <laughs> Kelly, are you planning any other videos or are you just I know you do your Monday morning, which I enjoy watching. Just the just the Monday morning and this is really all I'll be doing on uh, YouTube, I should imagine. Yeah. Unless I get any amazing hauls from the car boot, which feels like oh, it's I never gonna happen again at the minute. I think you will. Yeah, I think you'll get some good stuff. Yeah, just just the Monday mornings, quick half an hour on a Monday morning to get everyone going, mm -hmm. and just catch up how my week's been, and uh, might have some exciting news this week. Oh, oh. tune in to find out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I, will, I will ask Heather, but I think Heather's having a nap. 
So um, <laughs> I can't ask Heather <laughs> what's yeah. going she on. Keeps, she keeps moving slightly every now and again. Oh, and while we're plugging stuff, I've written a blog post about using Can Pinterest you me? to make a business. Right. So um, if anyone fancies learning about, well, not learning because I haven't really done anything to teach you, but um, if anyone fancies a read about how you can use Pinterest to promote your business, then I've done a blog post on it. I, I, I planned on doing it, that Andrea. this year, but I've it's just hasn't happened. <laughs> Thank you, Billy. <laughs> I have got a link to your... Um your website on my you know frequently used so i can just click on it and go to it easily so i will do that oh cool thank you right should yeah. we wrap up and then see as we're having all these technical yeah. problems and because i really need a wee okay do you know whose channel we're on next next time does anyone know whose channel we're on next time sam no we can't hear you because you've unplugged your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the best stream ever. <laughs> Everything that's gone wrong can go wrong. Oh, just I hope I've, I'm sorry, everybody, oh. for the technical issues. Oh. I hope you still enjoyed it. I did. I you're going to need to lie down after this, Lesha. <laughs> I am. I'm going to go and make an apple crumble for Darren. Bless him. Oh. Right, is there a way that you can unmute your microphone? Oh, there we go. I'm back. Oh, she's back. All <laughs> right. Sorry. Andrea, I was just asking you, do you know whose channel we're on next week? Oh, I can tell you. Hang on. Okay. Need a wee. Sorry. Sorry, we're going any second now. <laughs> well, you're just going to have to wait until Need you put wee. your hand up. <laughs> just cross your legs. <laughs> Heather. We're on Heather's channel. Oh, hang on. Heather's there. <laughs> Heather, you're on the channel next week. Yes, you are. We're waving hi. You couldn't see me. But oh, yes, it, it's in my channel next week. I'll try and think of some suitable topics and things. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, shall we all just wait and see if Lex wees herself? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a little cruel. <laughs> Right, so everyone have a good weekend. I hope you all get lots of sales. I hope that wasn't too ca ca catastrophic. I couldn't say the word there. <laughs> and have a good week, everybody, and we'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Oh, where's Karen gone? <laughs> Press the wrong button. Press the wrong button. We're still live. We're still live. We're not square. We are. She's left the studio. Right. Don't have a wee, Lex, quick. I'm going to go. Oh, oh, no. Sorry. That's <laughs> <laughs> the wrong one. Oh, I'm going to go. Bye. Oh, sorry. <laughs>